What happens to beef jerky when it goes through a baby food maker? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. A lot of parents choose to make their own baby food these days so they know exactly what they're feeding their infants. But what happens when you run out of new recipes? Mm. Or when you run out of babies? Yeah. Oh. Meaning that they've grown up. What do you do with your baby food maker? You save it, man. You save it when you get old because eating soft ground up food is like the bookends to the circle of life. True, but we're not gonna be feeding great grandpa today. Instead, we're gonna be putting things in a, whoa. <laughs> baby. Hold on to your, we've already broken. Baby food maker. This thing, this thing's pricey and not a sponsor. Uh, but we're gonna be putting lots of stuff through this thing uh, to find out what kind of odd, inventive, maybe good right. recipes that we can come up with. So hold on to your beakies, cause we're about to get infantile. It's time for Putting Things in Things Baby Food Maker Edition. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm hungry. Now this, is the Baby Move Duo Mill Station Food Maker XL. Not a sponsor. Ooh it can do a lot. It can steam three trays of food simultaneously. There's another tray, I'm not using it for this first part. It blends food at three different speeds depending on your, the consistency you want, how old your baby is. Okay. I don't, I mean, I guess it gets thicker the older your baby gets. My baby is 11. But most importantly, it holds 12 cups of food. And at $230, I mean, does this thing spank a wayward child as well, or? Is that not allowed anymore? We don't do that anymore. I'm, I'm, Unless, no, well, exactly. We, we can let the robots do That's it. That's why I want the robots to do it. Okay. All right, so this thing is good at making baby food for babies, but is it good at making grown-up food for babies? Yeah, there needs to be more of that, right? <laughs> Here, we want to see how it handles beef jerky uh, when we steam it with Monster Energy Drink. And then, uh, you know, so we, you steam it and you soften it. We'll get to that in one second, but we had two kinds of beef jerky to choose from. Jack Lynx and Alberto. And we took a survey and it turns out that eight out of 10 babies, first of all, eight out of 10 babies is difficult to communicate with, but eight out of 10 babies prefer Jack Lynx over Alberto. So the other use... two babies uh, were just mad because they'd been spanked by a robot. So get your Jack Lynx link, okay. Uh, what is this? Feed, the, feed, feed this to uh, your baby. You give that to the baby while the baby's waiting. Yeah, you don't want your baby to be too moist. Okay, now give me the uh, Monster Energy drink. Man, you're doing all the work over there, having all the fun. Okay. Uh, boy, it smells like sweet tarts. Get this in there. It's basically a steamer and a blender that are just connected by some sort of futuristic peach colored device. All right, so we're gonna set this thing for eight minutes to steam. And in the meantime, we're gonna enjoy some Alberto. Yeah, I'm just, I think I'm gonna be a, a, a bad grandparent. You're definitely gonna be a grouchy, grumpy grandparent. No, listen, <laughs> I can say what I wanna say. <laughs> I, I, listen here, damn it. You I can say what I wanna say. I bet you're gonna be a stupid grandparent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wanna be one of those granddads that gets out of the chair. That's the, where you're setting the bar? <laughs> I don't wanna be one of those granddads like, come here, come here to me in my chair. Here we are, eight minutes into the future. Uh, let's see how the jerky has softened. It's a hydrator, right? Okay, here you okay, go. So now just pour it into my hand. Let's see how soft that is. We, we basically rehydrated beef jerky. I mean, we're just, so far we've just made beef for babies. It's really soft, it's, it's basically the consistency of a Twizzler now. Okay, it's toss very, it. It's really floppy. Toss it in there. What? Taste a piece, just to see. Should I put my bare hand in the blender? No, yes. It's oh, soft, right? Man. Does the, it taste better? The babies have been getting the good stuff. Oh, it's, it's, very, it's so moist. Well, it's monster energy infused. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't taste great. <laughs> just get a couple of splashes here. Puree that stuff down, the baby formula. Come on, babies, gather around. It's time for your pureed monster energy beef. Everybody gets a taste. Okay, right in here. 
My baby can eat that. Mm. Any baby can eat that. So your baby eats this, you got a 50-50 chance of them becoming the next Sean White or never leaving the basement. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Okay, you have baby spoons? Mmm, baby like. Baby is stupid because it's it's bad. <laughs> Most of the time you want to calm them down, but sometimes, especially like when they're about to like go to the park. Yeah. And you want your kid to kind of like stand out a little bit. You want them to like not be gnaw, taken advantage of. Just gnaw on the slide. Pump them full of Jack Links and Monster <laughs> and just let them loose. This just in, giving caffeine to babies is not recommended by doctors. This is America, we don't listen to doctors. Let's make a <laughs> mocha for babies. Yeah, that's right, okay. Um, we're gonna combine milk. Down here. So I'm putting the milk in the collection. Can I, can I, can I it's kind of my thing. Oh. oh, but you're dressed like a baby right now. Okay, um, and then right here. And, uh, uh, okay. you can do remember when it was on your side and you did this stuff and I sat there worthless? Well, I, ha I had it all on Be worthless. Side. Okay, all right. I'm just it's here. great. Kids. I'm just here to be supportive. And then I'm pouring all the beans here, Stevie. See how good I am at that? Okay, just oh. please be nice to each other, oh. boys. And then there's a uh, oh. chocolate. I'm not gonna touch it. I wouldn't dare. And then take. I wouldn't the, dare hold, touch it. Hold that. And then we got some Ghirardelli. You ever been to the the Ghirardelli shop? You know it, man. I've been to San Fran. I'm a tourist. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam the milk up through the coffee beans and the chocolate. Steamer ready. Ten minutes. Okay, and now we're just gonna sit here and are we out of the Oberto? Seems so. Yeah. Why can't you give kids caffeine? Let's talk about that. Somebody look that up. Welcome to the future. Mocha's been here waiting. Listen to this, man. Oh, we've got uh, a top layer. Melted of, chocolate. It's not just melted, it's kind of, it's steamily coagulated. And we're gonna put all those ingredients in the blender, right? Yes, we are. Don't hurt yourself. And a lot of the chocolate made its way through these holes. Into the coffee? Onto the coffee beans, so we're actually getting some sort of a mocha, pre-mocha experience. Now with this one. Just do it, man. Ugh. Coffee beans. Are they softened up a little bit, maybe? Maybe just a nope. little bit? Nope, nope, nope. And then this. Uh -huh. Try to keep it steady now. And try to keep it steady. Okay, how do I pour this in there? Uh, yes, Just yes. pour it? Yes, yeah, stand up, that's it. <laughs> ah, kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Baby drinking mocha time. All right, we ready? All right, I'm gonna strain it right into this. And then I'll... How'd you get chocolate <laughs> on the back of your hand? Uh, that's, been, that's been there for days. You see <laughs> Oh, what just happened? That wasn't me. The jury's still out, but I feel like if this had started on my side, we'd be it. It would have ended differently. <laughs> okay, and now oh, and then the smell, other. It smells. This is going to be good. Incredible. It smells. Is this how you make mochas yeah. for real? Not. Well, they use this at Starbucks. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. They got All a right. baby maker in the Starbucks. <laughs> Don't forget the word food. <laughs> baby maker in the Starbucks. All right. That's so, what they call me every time I go into a Starbucks. Slap those lids the on there. The baby maker is here. Technically, no, I'm not a baby maker so anymore. The, I can't. These Possible, um, medically. Oh, I like how the this part right here is bulbous. Is it too hot? Is it hot? Is it real hot? Is it really hot? It'll be probably is be too hot? hot for you. Well, challenge accepted. You gotta turn it up like a teat. <laughs> it's a little too hot. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you really suck it? It's I mean, strong too. I had a mocha. I mean, your ba your baby's gonna wide-eyed and prance away. When's, when's the last time you just had a mocha? This is good. They should sell this as a mocha maker. Baby maker, mocha maker. Not a baby maker. Baby food maker. Hey, here's the thing, Stevie. If you left this thing alone for a for an infinite amount of time, eventually it would make a baby. That's how statistics work. <laughs> an infant amount of time. If and. and if you ran this thing an infinite amount of times with these ingredients, and at one point in the distant future, a baby would come out of it. That's how life happened. Okay, so there are a lot of treats out there that aren't suitable for babies because they're choking hazards. <laughs> but we don't think that's fair.
Take a jawbreaker, for example. Babies should be enjoying jawbreakers, but they don't even have teeth. Now, they don't have jaws strong enough to break them. We got to make jawbreakers suitable for babies. That is the mission. We're changing lives. We're going to put this jawbreaker into this steamer. We want, we need four of them, Link, because they're going to, there's actually these four little divots that I'm going to just like, oh, you, you, you did it. It's like a game. And I'm going to dip, dip that. Ah, up. hey. I don't know what game that is, but you just won it, my friend. And we friend. got two that are going to stay hoard over here so we can compare them afterward. Steam and. We think they're going to get real soft. But what's gonna happen to the paint on these things? Paint is probably not what it is. Oh, look, look at the paint. Oh. Can you see that? It's oh. melting. Just the ball. Yeah, 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 let's keep going though, keep going. Oh, it, it, oh it's gonna put the top on. Oh, it's oh, it's all out of whack now, oh no. You watch those TikToks where it's like this guy with like a deck of cards and he's obviously thrown like a million cards right. to try yeah, to get it yeah. to go in this little slot and then yeah. it finally happens. Yeah. You like those TikToks? Nope. Me neither. I hate them. Up, up, up! Welcome to the future. Let's take a look at these jawbreakers. Whoa! Ooh. What? Look at all those colors. Oh man! We got orange, Daddy. Tilt in it. Here. Tilt it. I want to take the whole thing. Out. Man, that's what it looks like when a muppet gets cremated. <laughs> so is it soft? Oh, oh man! It looks like you. I just removed a hernia from Shrek. I meant. Oh, I taste that hernia. It's hot. That's legit hot. Is it legit hot? <laughs> is it legit hot? Hey, see how hot it is. I don't want to be touching my tongue to legit hot. No, oh, yeah, real fast. You didn't even touch it. No, like actually touch it, touch it. It's <laughs> hot, man. It's legit hot. <laughs> it's legit yeah. hot. Look, I'm gonna just. I'm Is making, it gonna get hard. I'm again? making the decision to eat it no matter what. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a masochist. <laughs> man, that's hot and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow is the last day to join Third Degree Monthly to get the Red Link Sing Lionel Vinyl. You we want it. Two incredible Lionel Richie songs, Round and Round, and You Are, and we can't wait for you to hear them. The record is only available in the Mythical Society. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. Like okay. This. Say that your little baby is hungry, but they can't make up their mind what they want to eat. Well, I'd tell your baby, if you can't make up your mind, then I'm going to blow your mind because we're going to be putting an Applebee's classic combo platter in this baby food maker so that indecisive baby can sample a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, like, so I, start, like, I like the idea of this. If for no other reason, then it just kind of gives your baby a taste of Applebee's. Boneless wings. You know what I'm saying? Mozzarella you, sticks. You don't want them to get too highfalutin. And then some. I want him to grow up with knowing, you know. What are these? What are these quesadilla what, things? Quesadillas. Okay. <laughs> and then one of those. And then up here on the top, we gotta soften these chips down so that when we puree them, they're soft and not prickly. Welcome to the future. I'm exiting the Applebee's sauna. And the top. Here now. Let's see if those are soft. Might be hot. Are they softened? A little bit? Oh yeah, look, no crispies. Okay, yeah, no crispies. We're gonna throw these into here. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in there, oh, yes. Yeah. You really got to drop that thing. Cheese quesadilla. Chicken and mozzarella sticks. Coming in with some salsa. Artichoke dip. Marinara. Marinara. Hurry up. I'm about to, Ranch. I'm about to put the lid down. Yeah! Come on. Oh. That's the sound of me breaking it. You know what? This is good. This is nice. Baby food consistency. That's puree. Let's get our baby spoons and taste this. And this makes total sense because whenever I go to Applebee's, I need somebody to burp me. Yeah, right. Wow. That tastes good. That's actually really, I know you might think really it's nasty, nice. but everything, this is the proof that a Applebee's um, Sample platter is very well constructed. It's very complimentary. When you, when you steam gracious. it and blend it all together, it really works. I just eat that in just a big bowl of that. The only problem is it still might be a little too much for those teething babies. Mm -hmm. So we need to turn it into popsicles. Of course. Of course, there's another step to this. <laughs>
and then it's frozen and you just pull it oh wow oh look at that perfect release <laughs> Ooh, look at that double perfect release a little, it hits a little different when it's frozen. But that puree will be great inside a casserole. Mm. Take note, Nicole. It's quite a discovery. Okay, babies, you're welcome. I mean... And parents. We've done a lot for you we, today. We feel for y'all. All the parent mythical beasts out there, hang in there, and thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Jessica. This is Link. We're from Wyandotte, Michigan. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Baby Link, destined for something. <laughs> Greatness? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Click the top link yes. to watch us hear about some crazy birthing stories and good mythical more. What? And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join Third Degree Monthly by April 30th or Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.